Grace from Children's Healing Art Project. And I have one more project to show you using the box that we used for marbles, using the box that we used in the last project. And you're just gonna want to lay your paper inside. This time I have a paper, I use two pieces to cover the whole bottom. What we're going to do is a version of splatter painting. Um, it's a little bit cleaner than if you were to fling paint, but we're gonna use rubber bands. So take your rubber bands and stretch them over your box. And you've probably already noticed It's a little bit musical too. All right, so when you're done playing with the sound, you're gonna apply some paint. Again, I'm using tempera directly onto the rubber bands. I try to alternate colors. Um, so let's say every other rubber band in this example will be pink. And the ones I didn't paint, will be black. Okay, here's where it's important to be wearing an apron and to use your tablecloth provided. This is a little messy, but if you're doing it right, it should mostly stay in the box. But just to be safe, I'm actually gonna scoot back a little bit before I start snapping. And when you're ready, go ahead and give those rubber bands a snap. Here's what we got so far. Uh, to make the paint more evenly distributed, I'm actually gonna take the rubber bands off and run them across the other way. And now that the rubber bands are stretched the opposite direction, I'm gonna reapply some more paint. Once you're through, you can take your rubber bands off. You can wash rubber bands to reuse them again. And here you have some lovely splatter paint. This is a great technique for a background of a painting. This would be step one, and then you would draw your subject in the middle or off center. Um, this is also great if you just wanna create some unique stationery, um, or this is something you can do on top of an abstract painting. So just a fun way to add some different texture and technique to your paintings. I hope you enjoy this project. Thanks again for watching and please do share your art with us. We'd love to see what you make. Mm -hmm.